All right, so we're going to do another one of these cool math problems where we're going to find the distance between these two parallel lines. So here we have that one equation y1 is equal to negative 2x minus 2. The other one is y2 equal to negative 2x plus 3. So they're parallel. These have different y-intercepts. So again, I advise to draw um, a sketch so we get a good, like, sense of what this looks like and to you know make sure that we um don't make it like a mistake or come up with an answer that doesn't make any sense it's never good so just again just uh, x y axes and then um we have these at positive three and negative two for their intercepts so maybe something like this will be, I'll make that be, that'll be on y2, and y3, or not y3, um, y1 will be over here. Okay. These are both parallel. Nice. And we want to find how find out how far away they are from each other. So again, um, I advise, I recommend to highlight the um the intercepts. So let's just go um A E C and Z. Um, you can call them whatever you want, um, and make sure that you don't make the mistake of connecting them and thinking like, oh, maybe they're perpendicular, um, blah, 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 because it looks nice. Um, just pick a point on either line. You're only going to be able to pick one, remember? And then from there, draw a perpendicular line to the other, to the other line. So, um, I draw a perpendicular line segment to, uh, to the other line. So then, um, again, I like the y-intercepts. So A is going to be at 0, 3, because that's where the y-intercept for y2 is. And C will be at 0, negative 2, because that's where the y-intercept is for y1. And I'm going to draw a segment going to A, because it's more out of the way. Um, so perpendicular segment, let's see, going like that, yeah, there we go, there's our y3, perpendicular with the red angle symbol, let's draw this a little farther out so this is on our way. And we're going to have another point here. Let's call it on W. Let me put the W like. No, I'll put the W here. It's fine. W. So ultimately, we want to find the length of the line segment WA. So that's our life goal for the next 10 15 or so minutes so we want to find the length of a w so we have to find where w is at we know where a is at so we're good there so we are going to start off by finding the equation for y3 y3 is going to be perpendicular to y1 and y2 the slopes of y1 and y2 are negative 2. So negative 2 over 1 versus what's the opposite reciprocal of negative 2 over 1? Yeah, that's right. Positive 1 over 2. So the slope of y3 will be 1 half. I'm going to call it m3 for this for um slope. And the y-intercept is three because we again it goes through point a so b3 is three 
And so together, we get the equation for y3 equal to 1 half x plus 3. Hooray. Oh, wait, there's more. Um, it does not look like 1 half, but whatever. Um, we want to now find where y3 intersects y1, because that's going to tell us where the coordinates of w are, are at. See, y3 and y1 intersect at point w. I don't know why I did another dot, but you can see it there. So we're going to set y3 equal to y1. And then we solve for we solve for um x or y or in first first for x. So we're gonna have one half x plus three equal two. The equation for y one is negative two x minus two. Let's add two x to both sides. So we're going to have 2x plus 1 half x. Let's take away 3 from both sides. This will be negative 5 then. Adding these together, make sure you know your fractions. That'll be 5 halves x. Because remember, 2 is the same as 4 over 2. 4 over 2 plus 1 over 2 is 5 over 2. And that'll be equal to negative 5. To get x by itself, let's remember that we multiply both sides by 2 over 5. Well, I don't. Hmm. Well, look at the thing I got this on. Whiteboard. So 5 over 2. Well, let me just do this. Multiplying by 2 over 5, just sneak that in there. All this is times x is equal to negative 5. Negative 5 as a fraction is negative 5 over 1, so we multiply negative 5 over 1 by 2 over 5 as well. These cancel on the left, so then we get x is equal to these 5s cancel, and we get negative 2. Negative 2 over 1 is just negative 2. So x is negative 2 at the point w. Let's write that nice and big. So now we have to find y. So to find y, we're going to plug negative 2 into either y3 or y1. doesn't matter. Looks like this looks like y1 will be easier. So um, plug in negative 2 into here. Solving for y, we'll get the y1 is equal to 1 half times negative 2 plus 3, and this will be negative 1 plus 3, which is just 2. And so then point W is going to be at negative 2, 2. All right. Now, again, make sure you, like, take a moment to check that your answers are making sense because um, you don't want to, again, make us like a silly or dumb mistake, I guess, like a careless mistake, we say. Um, because like, because again, you can just see it with the graph. You can see if it makes sense. If you, if, if you get like negative two, negative two, then maybe you use some algebra thing that you can easily fix. But this makes sense. So now we just go ahead and do the distance formula to find AW. So we're gonna go, we can go negative two minus zero. 
squared plus 2 minus 3 squared. Make sure you know the distance formula. Let me just write it again over here. Remember the square root of the difference is x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. Doesn't matter which one you call y2 or x2, just make sure the x2s and y2 matches um, and the x1 and y1 go together. Okay, so then now I just simplifying this, we get negative 2 squared plus negative 1 squared. Four plus five or four plus one is so the square root of five. And that'll be like two point something ish. Yeah, about two point three six. And again, if you're afraid of rounding, just don't round. Just write as much as your calculator says. Two point two three six zero. Six, seven, nine, seven, seven. Units. And again, that makes sense because it's only this, it's like this. Um, of course, our graph is not perfect, but it's, you know, logically it makes sense. Okay, so there we go. So I hope that helps. Um, feedback is always welcome. Let me know if maybe um, I could have improved something or maybe I, maybe I made like a careless mistake. I don't think so though. Otherwise it wouldn't, um, wouldn't work, but, um, yeah. Um, I hope that helps and I'll see you guys in the next video.